Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online where we are playing the champion. It looks like a fighter jet, but it is a mech on legs and it is a very sturdy one on top of that. So let's go ahead and brawl today. Our build consists of an Ultra Auto Cannon 20 and four medium lasers. It's very straightforward. It's very easy to play as well because you basically only have to manage two weapon groups. And this mech here, it kind of shines because of basically two things. Actually, three things. First of all, the weapon mounts are quite high, which means means you can peek quite easily. If you see something, you will, will most likely be able to shoot it because uh, the weapons are almost cockpit level. The autocannon is here, the lasers are here. All right, this is a bit lower than our cockpit, but anyway, the weapon mounts are pretty good. On top of that, we have these amazing arms. They act as a shield. There's nothing in there. You can just torso twist your way out of that if you torso twist and, um, you know, absorb the damage to the sides and just use the arms as extra armor without even risking your weapon systems. And then on top of it, the champion has some armor quirks and those armor quirks we're going to utilize for being a solid block of metal in the middle of the fight. We want to be a brawler, we want to be on the front line. And as you can see, we have 24 extra armor plates on the front center torso. We have uh, 18 on the side torsos and then additional five on the arms as well as a bit on the legs here. So that's really cool. The rest of the build, by the way, is uh, five tons of ammo for our ultra auto cannon. We have a targeting computer for additional velocity, laser beam, zoom range, and more critical chance. And we also have a good chunk of heat sinks to keep the mech cold. We run 67.5k KPH being fueled by a light engine 250. It's not the fastest in the universe, but as I was saying, we use this mech to actually also tank some damage and we don't have to be zipping around the battlefield. We want to be in the fight. We want to be, uh, you know, just in the brawls taking damage while also dealing damage. And yes, I say taking damage because again, somebody has to. It's really valuable for like the team if there is a mech or two that are designed to absorb some. We also have some skills, so let's dive into them as well. And as you can see, we have, first of all, the Ultra Auto Cannon Jam Duration Notes 1 and 2 because if our Ultra Auto Cannon jams, it's very long. A 20 rated weapon takes forever to unjam and this is super handy. It's one of the highest priorities in this build. We also got magazine capacity for more longevity in the late game so you know you just have more shots that you can shoot at your enemies and then laser duration and you can see on the way down we got range cooldown heat gen this is what we need especially since we only have a range of about 300 meters every little point of range that we can take on the way down is super helpful but i wouldn't recommend just going for it necessarily because we want to be point blank anyway so um this is not a sniper so skip those range nodes and try to go for heat gen and cooldown as your priority as i was saying we got some armor quirks we're going to amplify them with the armor skills it's it's always a good idea to do that so if you have already a high a high base level in terms of armor then add some skills on top of that to uh, amplify it even more because all our skills here they are percentage based which means the more you have the more you get we also have maximum cool run since again we are brawler we are not really getting easily out of the fight unless our enemies are dead and when you are hot in the middle of a brawl then you cannot defend yourself anymore you cannot fight yourself out of the situation therefore get cool run also one of the highest priorities here we got rated deprivation for convenience of course we want to break locks and we want to just uh, do some nice um, sometimes we need to do some peaking uh, shenanigans and therefore rated deprivation is super handy and then obviously two cool shots again to keep the mech cold and uh, keep brawl when needed and we also got a uav today and that's the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have that as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel for more daily content and now it's time to hit the battlefield all right first game of the day we are playing the mining collective we are playing skirmish and there are lasers coming from the fox something area we're gonna set up here on echo 5 i want to see if my friends are also coming and uh, i hope that we're gonna get some interesting fights here Light mag on the far right side, I don't care about it. It is a fire starter with a bunch of flamers though, so let's keep that in mind in terms of our heat management. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a warhammer. Little Uziel has actually given away our position, which is not the greatest, but okay. So, where, where's the rest of my team going? It seems like they are going mostly to the right side. Oh, and I hope that Thrawn is not going over. Don't peek, buddy, don't peek. No, no, don't. I want to help you if somebody's coming. There we go. Horrible miss on that first shot. But the second one actually connected. So, yeah, I gotta, gotta keep my mouse arm straight when I'm doing that. And uh, since we have a little bit of a firing line here, we can actually hold it for a while. And wait for more people to come. People on the high ground, that's bad. Problem is, uh, from this point here, it's really hard to get to the Delta 5 area quickly. So the best bet would be pushing over to the center. Or, like, all the way to the left side. By the way, left side. Look at that, Fox 5 is covered by a light mech already. I think at this time... Yeah, at this time we can go. Uh, I'm pushing over Echo 4. Let's go. 
There's a large mountain. All right, so that's what we can do. And I hope that we, that we got some follow-up and that we are actually applying some pressure because I saw that my enemies are kind of trying to go for a Fox 4 flank. Means half of the team is here and the other half is gone. Take a side torso off. Come on, you don't need that anymore. All right, so far so good. Now the Warhammer. Good, let's go. I mean, my side torso is already pretty critical. I should probably not face him like that. That's a side torso down, and that is a kill. So, this initiation was painful, but necessary. Uh, what about that guy? I couldn't even hit him! No, I think we turn around now, right? Echo 5? That's where our enemies are. Okay, we're gonna intimidate him by just shooting some ultra auto cannons at him. And we're gonna wait for an engagement to happen here. Correct? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna try to take cover. Just a very quick push through. And seems like enemies are here. Yup, they are right around the corner. That's a rifleman. But we have enough people, so let's go in. I'm um, pushing forward. Uh, Echo 5, let's go. I'm gonna go in and see what's coming. Hi. Okay, we're gonna try to avoid fire mostly. Yup, that's good. Another one. Good, he was actually running XL. So now we're gonna take that awesome. As well as... This Fafnir, instant jam, so we're gonna wait. Popping up a UAV here. He's, he's busy, though. He's very much busy. Uh, okay, Ultra Auto Cannon is back in action. Take him down, and then the Corsair. Sorry, did I push in front of somebody? Didn't want to. Bada gum, bada gum. I love that sound. Uh, he's not dead, so we're gonna use the lasers. Got him. Hoo hoo hoo, the damage. And now it is time to kill the actual awesome here. Got him, perfect. So turning around, nine and four. This is looking great, man. This is exactly why I wanted to be in a brawl. It's a Wolvie on the high ground with MRM 60. Can we push him down? I don't know, if he's getting pushed down then it's probably over here. Maybe he's not even getting pushed down at all. Um, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. probably gonna stay there. It's what I would do, or what I would try. However, we can try to get an angle on him somehow. Like this. Yup, that's damage, buddy. So, I'm gonna wait here. We're gonna try to circle around him. And I don't think that we have many more enemies. Actually, there is one more enemy in the center. That's a target that I can take. It's an Arctic Wolf with PPC and SRMs. Was it something like that? Um, it was an ER PPC and some SRMs. He's currently... Currently not engaged. I mean, he's shooting somebody, but I don't know how much in terms of return fire he's getting. All right, up on the high ground, trying to get to Echo 4. There, oh, freaking hell. What the? Wait a second. That was the MRM Wolverine, and he is gone now. So, trying to get an angle on Mr. Oh, wait, that's the PPC. That's the heavy PPC guy that's still there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where did the um, Arctic Wolf go? He was in Delta 4, last seen. My team is now going for the target that they can see, completely ignoring the Arctic... Was it him? No. No, no, no. So he has to be here somewhere. He's probably trying to get an angle with the PPC and ignoring um, ignoring his uh, SRM short range brawl thingies. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's the last, it's the last guy, but then there's... Ah, there he is. Ah, oh, man, so close. Turn around, buddy. All right, we're gonna keep him spotted. I want to see where he is actually going. He's probably trying to follow up. We will go to Echo 4. He is actually engaging. Crazy. So, awesome is down. There's an Arctic Wolf in Fox 4. PPCs and SRMs. Or PPC singular and SRMs. But yeah, he's just going in and is throwing his mech away because the game is technically over. Good job, guys. Man, my mech is down to 43%, but we are still alive. We have still 30 shots on the Ultra Auto Cannon, and I think we got some kills here. So let's check it out. Yeah, we got three killing blows, we got six assists, two kill most damage dealt with 758 damage done, 400 taken, and six components destroyed. That was the first round, so let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing Hypernal Rift and we are playing Skirmish. So, let's get into the center of the map because that's where everybody is going, right? And we want to shoot the people at close range. Problem is, enemies will be here on the high ground at this spot. Yep, you can see. Hello, Mr. Trebuchet. Are you shooting me? Please don't shoot me. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to get behind my Zeus here. He might be the first target to actually get targeted, and uh, I have no way of retaliation against those guys. However, if we can get to Charlie 3 quickly, we can actually get some damage out before they are in a good spot. And that's what I want to try to do. So, here we go. 600 meters. This is the range where we can actually start thinking about engaging. And there we go. Yeah. Get some. Oh, yeah. Get some damage in on the Roughneck. Bravo. Okay. Good shots. Uh, ho, 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 ho. Yes. No. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to just... Actually, I'm going to keep shooting. It's 500 meters. It's not much damage, but it's damage nonetheless. And we can pin them down. As long as they are taking fire. This is good, because that splits them up. It's everybody. But a gum, but a gum. So now I need to cool down, because enemies will be here on the high ground in no time. And I need to be cold for the engagement. Going in hot is not good. In the center, guys. Build a firing line in center and we win. Ooh, okay. On the mad cat. On the mad cat. I'm on Delta. And I'm staying here. Oh, this is a brawler. Maybe I'm not staying here. Okay. So, cool shot, because there's a cat. There's also a strike coming down. Oh yeah, great firing line, guys. You cannot go anywhere, buddies. Just stay in the center and we win. Ah, uh, damn it. I mean, this is covered, is it? That's the roughneck coming around the corner. I need to cool a bit, that's the thing. Oh no, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can help down here. Roughneck is basically a one shot. Mm, and I'm willing to actually invest a little bit. Mm, more armor, this cataphrag has a very good spot. I gotta say, it's a very good covering spot there. We got the Ravnik though. Madcat is very damaged, Delta. Easy kill. Come on, let's do it together. With the Jäger in combination. I'm gonna try. Got him. Perfect. That was very, very yeah, good. Kilo. Uh, on Kilo, yeah, let's go. Let's push him. Yeah, yup. I'm gonna get messed up as well. Oh my freaking god. That I took it to the chest. I shouldn't have. Oh no. Oh no. That was bad on my behalf, but let's see. Uh, let's see if we can peek our way out of the situation. Ooh, the strike is gonna kill me! Is it? I don't know. I gotta get out of here. Oh, cherry red center torso, that's not what I expected. Again, I took the burst to the chest, like full force. Um, oh man, this is, this is weird. This is so, so weird. The missiles are really contesting me. And our center is actually collapsing at this point. Why? Uh-huh. I mean... No, not really. Get that side also off of him. Come on! Bada bum, bada bum! Still not! Oh wait, now we got it. Okay, and down he goes. There was a mole and Delta 3 alarms. There's a play in the middle. Alright, copy that. I'm gonna go on the mauler. Come on. Ah, I couldn't really get a full angle on him here. Now we can. Take that side torso, take him down. So, light mech on my tail. I know, I know, I know. But I want to go over to this Echo guy. Come on, let's go for Mr. Cataphrag. That guy was very nasty to me earlier, so we're gonna try to retaliate now. So, center torso again, still cherry red. We're gonna stay on the high ground, we're gonna shoot him to pieces. And that's how we're gonna win the video game. Ammo is depleted. There is one, probably light mech, still the flea, somewhere around, right? Good job, guys. 11 and 6. And if I die now, I'm okay with that. Absolutely fine. Um, maybe I'm gonna put my UAV up somewhere? I'm gonna go into the center and put my UAV up. That might help finding the last enemy. And I'm gonna do it right now. Watch for the low signal. Symbol on your teammates. So, UAV in the center. The big portion of the map is covered now. He is still alive. Definitely. Definitely still alive. Now we just need to hunt him. Spreading up right now is not a good idea in general, especially since I... Ah, oh, there we go, okay. Since I don't have any good means of defending myself. Yeah, I got killed in Charlie 4. Um, but 800 damage is, I think, a good number in the end. Right, come on, let's get him. Fire! Yeah, streaks! The bane of the light max. Good, good job there, assassin. Well done. That was a fun game to play, and we held the center. We didn't ask her around, we held the center, and they were trying to really get an angle, and then we had already a solid block of metal on the other side, so the Mad Cat, the um, Blood Ass, both of them died so quickly because they couldn't go anywhere. So well done, team. We got three killing blows, three kill most damage dealt, six assists with 800 damage done, 260 taken, and eight components destroyed, and that was the champion with an Ultra Auto Cannon 20 and four medium lasers. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, as always, guys, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.